Banned Book Week is um, an initiative by the American Library Association that basically highlights censorship and um, basically freedom of speech, the First Amendment, and the right to read whatever you'd like. Banned Book Week doesn't say that as a parent you don't have the right to decide what your child reads. It's more when you try to decide what an entire town can read. In my opinion, a banned book is a book that makes you think. Persopolis, oh. in the night kitchen, where the wild things are, outsider, uh, Fahrenheit 451, fun home, the golden compass, magenta, the entire Harry Potter series, to kill a mockingbird, whale talk, drama, the absolute true diary of a part-time Indian, Habibi, are you there god, it's me Margaret, bridge to terror, Bethia, the color purple, the kite runner, you have Huck Finn, James and the giant peach, has a reference to drugs in it, and Tango Makes Three, which is a wonderful picture book that's a true story about um, these two gay penguins in New York who wanted to raise an egg and then one of the zookeepers found one that wasn't being cared for, so they, he gave it to the two penguins and they were able to raise it as their own. A book that's affectionately referred to as the gay penguin book. A book should be a mirror to reflect what you see and how you see the world, but it should also be a window. A lot of times with censorship or removing something, you don't even know it's happening because it's not an option for you anymore. It's not a book that you can read. It's just, it's just gone. The Bible, Speak 1984 is a challenged book. The Great Gatsby is a challenged book. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest is a challenged book. Um, Catcher in the Rye is a challenged book. For a minute and over, I'm Emily Goss. Um, I'm actually not sure why it was banned. I have to look that up. <laughs>